As both AMD and Intel are done showing off the next-gen desktop CPUs, things don't seem to stop just right there. Their flagship desktop chip, the Core i9-13900KS from Intel and Ryzen 9 7950X 3D from AMD, are about to hit the shelves sooner than we expected. These won't be your regular desktop chips as the core and thread count as well as the clock frequency is expected to be higher than what we have seen on the earlier ones. Now, if you've been planning on getting either of these, there's a lot to consider when it comes to choosing between these two. Because, let's face it, both of these processes require a hefty price to pay. Nonetheless, we'll be comparing these upcoming desktop chips to help you to decide which one you should settle for. While the Core i9-3900KS is yet to be released, a Canadian retailer has listed the processor along with plenty of upcoming mid-range and budget Intel processors. Here, we get to see two Core i3, three i5, three i7s and three i9 SKUs in total which also include the Core i9-3900KS. On the other side of the spectrum, Ryzen 9 7950X 3D has been confirmed through an internal roadmap that WCCF Tech has managed to get the hands on. In this roadmap, we get to see the already released Zen 4 chips and the upcoming Zen 4 processors with 3D vCache along with Threadripper chips. Let's see what specs we can expect to see in these upcoming high-end processors. According to video cards, i9-3900KS will be a 24-core processor with a blend of 8 performance and 16 efficiency cores. Aside from that, we get to see 32 threads and a maximum clock frequency of 6GHz. Yep, you heard that right, Intel processors can now crank up the game beyond the 5GHz boundary. While we can't say much about the TDP, the 3900KS will have the same UHD 770i GPU. With that being said, let's take a look at this nice little chart from video cards that showcases the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D chip along with its possible specs. According to this chart, the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D shares the same specs as the 7950X with the exception of two 64MB 3D V cache and a combined L2 and L3 cache of 208MB, which by the way is significantly higher than the base variant. Unfortunately, the TDP remains high at 170 watts. What this means from a performance perspective is that you'll be getting huge performance uplifts in games even on the AAA titles. Look at the Ryzen 7 5800X3D for example. It has already proved itself to be outstanding in gaming performance judging by how it tops the chart of plenty of benchmarks done by Tom's Hardware. To summarize, both these upcoming processors are looking quite good in terms of performance. However, do keep in mind that you'll have to build from scratch if you decide on going the AMD route, as it requires a completely new AM5 platform. DDR5 memory modules are quite expensive as well, which further adds to the switching cost. The i9-3900KS in this regard can do just fine with any LGA-1700 compatible motherboard as well as DDR4 RAM, saving much of your cost. However, no matter which CPU you end up choosing, both of these are quite expensive themselves given they belong to the high-end lineup of the respective brands. So, that was all about the Intel Core i9-3900KS versus Ryzen 9 7950X 3D debate. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.